All right, Matt, thanks. School districts across Arkansas are facing staff shortages, and it's having a big impact on the district's current employees, parents, and students. Five News reporter Michael Wilson spoke with districts across our area and the state to see how they're fighting these shortages. Hey, good evening to you. Now, these staff shortages are forcing districts as well as the state to create long and short term solutions on how to recruit and combat these staff shortages. We still need more help. We need more people. We need more bus drivers. We need more substitutes. Trent Jones with the Springdale School District says these shortages aren't new, but at a new high. It is a crisis. Whenever we're having to cancel routes daily or whenever other teachers are getting pulled from their classrooms to go into other classrooms, I mean, that, that impacts the quality of learning. The problem is also impacting districts like Van Buren and Fayetteville. Both say they're having a bus driver and substitute teacher shortage. But in Alma? We have no problem at all with, with bus drivers. Uh, we're in, we're in great shape. However, say they are having a slight shortage for subs. That's why more districts are creating ways to find new recruits. We have increased our, our payment to subs and to bus drivers just to show them that we need you. After Thanksgiving break, Springdale is bumping bus driver pay by $20 and subs pay by as much as $28 through COVID-19 funds. The district is also partnering with the Chamber of Commerce to find help. We came up with a thing called the Super Sub Campaign. Employees of businesses that are part of the chamber can be a substitute, making up to $117 a day. And see, you get to elevate some branding of your, of your, uh, of your business. The district will be promoting Super Subs on social media and billboards. Michelle Lynch with the Teachers Association says the state is also looking at long-term fixes. Students who are in high school, who think education might be their career pathway can begin taking some classes to prepare them for a teacher education program. Making them eligible to sub once they graduate a two-year program, which Alma Schools has been testing and says it's been a success. I think there are a lot of creative ways, but um, at the end of the day, we, we got to get, you know, more people working. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. Now, the Teachers Association says it also has a program to help certify students to become a teacher once they're in college, hoping that will turn more students into educators in the natural state. New attend tonight, jurors.